Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Rapidash from Pokemon. Let's get started at the top right side of our page with the eye. So I'm going to start with the lower eyelid. We're going to start with the inside with an angled line going up and out towards the right. Now from the front here, we're going to curve over the upper eyelid going up. And we're just going to pull that down towards the outside. Now let's tuck the eye in behind the eyelid. So stepping over, we're going to curve the outside of the pupil. Now at the very top, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. On the left side of the eye, we're just going to draw a curve going across and up. Directly above the eye, we're going to add the horn in a slight angle going over towards the left. So just above this line, we're going to step up, draw an angled line going up and out towards the left. Now we're going to pull that back down. So we're going to taper this line coming down and then in. In between these two points, we're going to draw a small curve, leaving a gap on either side. Now let's draw on the profile edge of the head. From the bottom of the horn, we're going to step up, draw a short angle line coming down and out. We're going to curve across and then down. Now from here, we're just going to go across the bridge of the nose, going down in an angle. Now from the end, we're going to curve down, out, and then down. Now here, we're just going to draw a short angle line coming in. Now let's draw on the mouth. From this point, we're going to curve up and then over towards the right. Just above the mouth, we're going to draw a short angled line for the nostril. Now let's draw on the lower part of the jaw. From this point at the front of the mouth, we're going to angle down. We're going to go straight across the bottom of the chin. Now we're going to go up and over towards the right. From this point, we're just going to draw the jaw. From here, we're going to curve out and then up. Now let's go back to the top of the head. From the bottom point of the horn, we're going to step up curve across, over towards the ear. From this point, we're going to step down, do an overlap, we're going to angle up, and then out towards the right. Now let's curve the right side of the ear. We're going to curve out towards the right, and then down towards the base of the ear. Let's trace this out on the inside. We're going to take this line, we're going to step in, just follow that all the way to the top. We're going to curve across and then down. Now we're going to connect the bottom points with a curve. Now we're going to tuck the left ear in behind the horn and the head. So about halfway along the horn, we're going to go straight up. Now we're going to curve the back of the ear, coming across, and then down in behind the head. We're going to go back to the top and just going to taper down towards the head. Now at the bottom of the jaw, we're going to curve the neck, coming down, over towards the left. Now we're going to hook this down. We're going to add some flames along the back. So just going to hook it downwards. We're going to work our way towards the back of the body with some flames. From this point, we're going to curve up, so tapering it up. Now we're going to curve across, coming down, over towards the left, and then we'll hook it downwards. Let's taper that back up towards the top. From here, we're going to curve over again. We're going to come across and then down. We'll taper that back up again. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving down and then over towards the left. Now we're going to pull that back up, so tapering that line up towards the back. Now let's move back to the right and draw the front of the neck. So at the base of the ear, we're going to step up, we're going to curve out, and now we're going to pull that straight down. Now we're going to move back over towards the left side and draw on the hind leg. From this point in the flame, we're going to curve out and then down. From this point, we're going to do a hard turn, curving down and then back in. From the back of the leg, we're going to round this out and go back out towards the ankle, coming out towards the left. Then we're going to do another curve, coming in and then back out. Let's draw on the back hoof. From this point, we're going to angle down towards the right, towards the bottom of the foot. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot. We're going to come down and then back up. From this point, we're going to curve over towards the left. Now we're going to just separate out the hoof. We're going to curve it down and then over. From this top point, we're going to draw a short angle line going up towards the right. Now we're going to curve it up, curving up towards the ankle. Now we're going to do another curve coming around and then up. So it's going to get a little bit wider as we come up towards the body to right about there. Now we're going to overlap the body on top of the leg. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to come down and then across towards the right side. 
Now we're gonna overlap the front leg on top of the body. From this point, we're gonna step up, we're gonna curve over that line, and then pull that back out towards the left. From here, we're gonna do another curve, coming all the way down towards the hoof. Coming down, curving it back down. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot, coming down and then back up. Now from the bottom of the foot, we're gonna curve and taper in towards this joint, going up and then in towards that joint here. Now we're gonna curve it up, curving up and over towards the right. Let's separate out the hoof. Starting on the back, we're just gonna curve over and up towards the front. Now I'm gonna continue the body in behind this leg over towards the front. So we're gonna come up, sort of aiming towards this point here. We're gonna stop right about there, leaving a gap for the front leg. At the front here, we're gonna bend the front leg. So let's take this point, come down, and curve across towards the front. From here, we're just gonna draw a short angle line coming down and out towards the right. From here, we're gonna curve this down and over towards the left, towards the tip of the hoof. Now let's round out the bottom of the hoof. We take this bottom point, curve it around, and then up. We go straight across with a short line, and we're gonna go up with a short line. Now from here, we're gonna curve it in and then up towards this joint. Coming in, now we're just gonna pull that up. Let's separate out the hoof. From this point, we're just gonna curve it down and over towards the bottom of the leg. Now we're gonna close off this gap with the bottom of the leg. So from this point, we're gonna step down, curve up, and pull it down in behind the body. Just above the front leg here, I'm gonna add a wrinkle. Starting at the top, we're gonna curve over and then down. Now we're gonna see the back leg in between these two legs. So let's start underneath the body right down here. Curve down, over towards the left. Now we're just gonna hook it back down again, doing a hard turn, coming down. Wanna make sure that this line is higher than the front legs. Let's take this point, round out the bottom of the hoof, curving down and then back up. Now we're gonna taper this back up towards the joint, curving it up. Now here we're gonna widen it out as we come up and underneath the front leg. Let's separate out the hoof. Again, from the back, we're gonna curve it over towards the front. Now that we've drawn up the body, let's add the flame. So we're gonna start on the back here. We're gonna start just beside the neck, curve down. Now we're gonna pull that back up. We're gonna add a point. We're gonna taper that back down. Now let's keep working our way towards the back. Curve across and then up. Now I'm gonna hook it over in the opposite direction. So we wanna blend this into a curve going out towards the left. Now we're gonna do a swirl, curving in, down. Now I'm just gonna pull that back up. Let's taper that back down down towards the body. Now we're gonna add one more point. Curve across, down. Now at the back, we're just gonna hook it back up and taper this in behind the body. Now in the back here, we're gonna add the flame tail. So at the base of this flame, we're gonna curve across and then down. Now I'm gonna blend into a curve going around. I'm gonna swirl this around, going back in. Now let's taper that back, coming down. We're gonna to go to the tip of the tail. We're gonna curve it out, in, and then back out, almost like a backwards S. Now from here, we're gonna swirl this back around again. Curving down, and now we're gonna go up a little bit higher, going up, and I'm gonna taper this back in, coming down, and then in. Let's add some points along the back here. Curving it up and out. Now we're gonna pull this back in. Now I'm gonna swirl this around again. So we're just gonna blend into a curve, going around, and then back out. We're gonna taper this back, and pull that back up. Now from here, we're gonna add another point. Curve it in, out. Now we're gonna blend into a curve going in the opposite direction. Just turning it down. Now we're gonna work this way back in towards the hind. Curving in and down. Do one more point, curving down and then out. Now we'll just pull this in behind the body. Now we're gonna add some flames to the back of the leg. Starting on the back up here, we're gonna curve down, up, and then we'll hook it over towards the left. Now we're gonna taper that back down. Let's go up to the tip. Do a hard turn going up. Now pulling that back out towards the left. Now we're just gonna work our way back in towards the leg. Starting here, we're gonna curve down, round up the bottom, and then pull that back up. From here, I'm gonna do a swirl, curling around, 
and then up. Now we're going to work our way back down towards the leg, curving down, across, and then we'll just pull it down towards the bottom of the leg. Now we're going to add some flames to the top of the leg here. So starting at the base of the neck, curve down, up, and then hook it over towards the right. Now we're going to do a swirl, curving in, down, and then back over towards the left. Now let's hook this down towards the knee. Now we're going to do one more point, curving out, and then we'll blend this down towards the tip of the knee. Now let's move up and draw on the fiery mane. We're just going to start on the outside of the ear. We're going to curve it up and then out. Taper this back down, going back out towards the right, and then back in towards the neck. We're going to hook this back up again. Now let's taper that back down towards the neck. Now right here I'm going to do a little loop, curving back around. Let's taper that back in again, curving in. I'm just going to hook this down, and then we'll curve up, and then back down towards the back of the neck. Now I'm going to have the flame sweeping around behind the head towards the left side. So let's start on the side of the horn here. Curve up, down, and then pull that back up. Taper that back in. And we're going to work our way over towards the left. Curving up, and then out towards the left. We're going to do another swirl, curling around, and then back out. Let's taper that back in. Now we're going to hook it downwards. Going down, and out towards the left. Taper that back in. Now we're going to swirl this again, curling around that back up and one more flame we're going to hook this downwards curving down and we're going to tuck this in behind the head and that's pretty much it there we have it there's rapidash from pokemon i hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon